3,300 years ago, during the peak of the legendary Pharaoh Ramses II, the ancient Egyptians witnessed a great miracle, carved by human hands and the magic of architecture. In the heart of their country, on the banks of the Nile, a divine construction was born Abu Simbel Temple. This is not only a temple to the gods, but also a solid symbol of power and dignity. With its greatness, this giant temple is not only a work of architecture, but also a symbol of eternal power, engraved in the heart of history. At midnight, under the silver moonlight, four giant pharaoh statues shine like falling stars, carrying a story about the power and dignity of the past. Today, these monuments are not only a fascinating destination for tourists in Aswan, the city where the sun opened the doors of the pharaoh and the gods, but also a living symbol, taking us into a new life journey through time, back to the glorious reign and magic of ancient Egypt. When facing the entire great temple, 30 meters high, 36 meters wide, and 60 meters deep, one cannot help but be amazed by the wonder and power of nature, and human creativity. This is not only an architectural work, but also the greatest symbol of the world at that time. Stepping inside, we are immersed in the solemnity and impeccable beauty of this structure, creating an unforgettable spiritual experience. Even modern architects cannot help but feel admiration when facing Mount Rushmore, a modern version of the legendary Abu Simbel Temple. Completed in 1934, this work is not only a symbol of human talent and strength, but also a great statement of national pride and the spirit of resilience to overcome all challenges. During that period, with the advent of professional tools, such as dynamite and pneumatic drills, along with the advancement of modern technology, the construction of Abu Simbel Temple took 14 years. Although later, compared to the scale of the construction, it became significantly less monumental. However, this only glorifies the talent and creativity of the ancient Egyptians, when they, with patience and talent, carved into stone the eternal beauty of their civilization. They have to work endlessly on scorching rocks under the blazing sun, with temperatures reaching up to 40 degrees Celsius, a challenge not only physically but also mentally. Despite facing dual physiological and willpower difficulties, they remained steadfast, never stopped resting, and completed their work in an organized manner, to create a great and eternal work. To carry out this work, we need the cooperation of talented and passionate artisans, along with the patience and constant efforts of thousands of skilled workers. As the proverb says, good work skills begin with preparing the tools. This shows that, to achieve great success, we need to prepare carefully, and invest in our equipment, while constantly training our skills and spirit. In that ancient era, Egyptians used simple tools, such as hammers made from bronze to overcome the difficulties of construction. However, copper is flexible and abrasive easily, causing many challenges during work. Although thousands of enthusiastic workers contributed to the project, with those ineffective tools, the work continued to be complicated and took a long time. There are estimates that to complete such a great work, it would even take 20 years, a long and difficult period of time. However, with perseverance and unremitting efforts, those brave people overcame all difficulties to leave their eternal mark in history and in our minds. In ancient Egypt, the loss of up to 20 million bronze hammers was a staggering number. In an era where casting techniques were not yet developed, this loss was undeniably huge, but is it due to the underdevelopment of casting techniques? There are two conflicting speculations among scholars about this. Some believe that to build such high height structures, the Egyptians had to use a large amount of scaffolding. Otherwise, performing activities at that height will be a difficult challenge for them. Some scholars have posed an interesting perspective through the use of 3D simulation technology. 
According to them, if the builders of Abu Simbel temple had built from top to bottom, they could have piled large amounts of sand and gravel into a pile, creating a temporary workbench for the workers. However, the big question is, when the statue is covered with sand and rocks, how can architects ensure the accuracy of the statue's proportions and dimensions without measuring tools? Exactly? To find the answer, researchers looked to another impressive project, the presidential statue at Mount Rushmore. Here, the architects used a similar method, starting from a clay model of the statue, then moving on to building on stone according to the created model. This is truly a breakthrough, showing the constant creativity and spirit of discovery in the field of architecture. To ensure that the building's proportions and dimensions were accurate, the architects used a giant cross device, consisting of a boom and a pendulum. This device is used to examine and evaluate the dimensions of facial sculptures of figures in ancient Egyptian art, ensuring that every detail adheres to the highest standards of art and ancient Egyptian architecture. They applied the method of fixing points with a plumb line, a delicate and complex technique, to ensure perfect accuracy and proportion in recreating ancient statues and architecture. In this way, both methods provide an equal and effective approach to the problem. The ingenuity and sophistication in applying this technique once again make us surprised and admired by the extraordinary achievements of the ancient Egyptians in the field of architecture. This is not only a manifestation of their technical talent, but also a testament to their boundless creativity and patience when creating great works filled with mystery and mystery. In the last century, with the construction of the Aswan High Dam, the risk of Abu Bai's new temple being submerged underwater was great, and this caused concerns about the loss of this global cultural heritage. But thanks to support from the Egyptian and Sudanese governments, engineers implemented a bold plan. They divided the entire building into more than a thousand small pieces, each numbered, and then transported them to designated locations, for reassembly. This marks a historical turning point in the protection and preservation of human cultural heritage. The new value of the temple exceeds the original value by up to 210 feet. Even though thousands of years have passed, there are still many mysteries about the Abu Simbel temple that have not been discovered. What is certain is that this is an ancient building built more than 3,000 years ago. Let us, modern people, once again respect and admire the great construction skills and extraordinary wisdom of the ancients of Den. They left the world with great works, a priceless legacy that we still admire and explore to this day.